Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be setting up week 12 in my Hobonichi week for work. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so like I do in these videos, we're going to do the setup. I'll do a quick rundown of last week and then I'll end the video with what I filmed for lunch during my work week. This is my Hobonichi Mega Weeks. It is in a Moterm cover in taupe that I picked up from Amazon. And this is the Peach Hobonichi Weeks Mega. The only difference between a Mega and a regular is just the Mega has more notes pages. Everything else is exactly the same. So let me take this out and I'll be right Right back. All right, so it's currently Sunday, uh, like 10 p.m. the 20th. I'm a little tired, so this is actually going to go really quickly. I think I'm going to put the work week on this side. It is only a four day work week for me. Uh, the 25th is a holiday here in Hawaii, so let me go ahead and mark that out real quick. Okay, so I did still mark the five boxes, but this is actually going to be a reminder. Uh, I don't want to do anything fancy. Um, it's actually going to be a slow work week for me, not just because there is a holiday, but just because we're in maintenance mode right now. Um, but I don't want to do the thought in, the thought out. I don't want to do any of that. I'm not feeling it. So I'm just going to randomly stick down some washi in any of the spaces that isn't this. Although I don't want it to be ugly. <laughs> and that way I'll get some of the decor. I actually don't know how it's gonna work out, but that's not really a big deal for me. This is just uh, washi from my stash. I've got a ton of washi and I just picked some that were kind of complementary in color. And then I'll explain uh, what this final box is here because I do need that for something. This is one of my favorites. It's nearly done. In fact, we might finish it in this video. Yeah, so it stops being sticky right there. So, well, this is one of my favorite. Uh, my friend Andy had actually given me a set like this. It's actually a little bit whiter um, because that kind of grid one is one of my all time favorites. And I had run out of that one. Uh, so she got me one and I was very happy. going to fold this over. I don't want to be bothered to cut it. Okay, and then I have I used everything? No, I didn't use this one. So might as well. And because I'm going to be putting stickers layered on top of this, it doesn't matter if there's anything visible. And then one more. And you can't really see it, but I know it's there. Okay. And let me mark this side out. Looks like we're doing a ton of pinks and browns. So this is a mild liner. Might be a little too dark, but that's fine. So I'll mark out a little square here so that I can put the date. And then this is going to be the actual lunch for the week. On top of there is where I put what's going to be offered in the cafeteria. Right here is going to be reminders for next week, uh, just in case I have any ongoing projects. And then right here, I'll use this. Actually, let me see if I can be clever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack it 
because it's clear, I can see. This is a stencil that my friend Christy of Christy Marie Designs had uh, sent to me and in my Hobonichi Weeks videos, uh, her shop is always linked. So definitely go check her out. She has a variety of different sizes and I just find them very useful. Okay, so this is going to be there and this is going to be that. I'll let that dry just a little bit and then we'll look for some stickers on this side and maybe a quote or something. Okay, so let me put some of these down. And it's definitely going to be a little sticker heavy. But that's okay. Now some of the washi is already getting old, so it wants to lift, but I'm hoping the sticker on top of it just kind of cements it down. So layer that like that. That looks cute. Stick this over here. And I'm really more concerned about the color than anything. Okay, that fills up that space right there. Let's see if we can fill up the space right here. Maybe we'll just do what I do and put some flowers. So I'll put that there and the hello at top. I'll square out some of these things and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is it done. And um, I put that sticker there just to tie in some of the blue. It's a bit of a hodgepodge. I don't hate it. It's just, I don't use stickers a lot like this anymore in this way. It doesn't bother me that I can see that. I mean, it's the work week. I really need this. None of this else is important. And it just, it basically takes up some space. I didn't mention this, but this is the original color story. I don't think that you can find this. This is one of my favorite Happy Planner sticker books. Um, this is also trying to lift as well but that could be because there's washi underneath I'm not hundred percent sure um, the thing with stickers and washi is eventually it won't be as tacky as you might like it and so if it does become problematic I'll just probably put some clear uh, tape on top of it just to help with some of the edges I will go over this later and uh, just mark it so it's really pop I might actually go over some of these elements and outline them in black so they pop as well but again I just need this to be functional and so that's the four days I'm working this week uh, I do have enough room if I need to remember anything for next week and this is sort of my um, mood tracker it's a really uh, simple and straightforward one so this was last week. It was very simple. In fact, I could have done the same thing, but I do want my weeks to look a little different from week to week. It's very functional. I don't think I read this when I was setting this up with you guys, uh, but this one says, never wait. Life goes faster than you think. I don't know why, but that makes me think of Ferris Bueller. And then uh, this says, don't rush your growth. It's a natural process. And so these were my completed tasks. Uh, this was what I actually ate uh, for lunch versus what was offered in the cafeteria. My mood tracker was actually a a fairly good week last week and uh, just some reminders that I need to remember coming in to this week uh, that's it for the setup again pretty straightforward I really should do these videos a little earlier in the day but this past weekend I didn't even color and I don't know that I lost my mojo as much as I just needed to rest I watched a lot of movies and it was just a very relaxing weekend and exactly what I needed so that's it for me guys if you're interested go ahead and stay tuned as I show you what I've eaten for this work week otherwise as always aloha hey guys lunch for today 
Oh, it's Pi Day 314. Um, actually had something else, but it smelled weird and my stomach is acting stupid. So this is a kimchi bowl, but instead of the kimchi seasoning, I just put in some chicken bouillon that I always have in the office. And I have a banana and some water. Breakfast was coffee. Yeah, stomach is being weird, but that's not unusual. Anyway, that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, March 15th, Tuesday. Uh, I have it in there because it's steaming a little bit. Is some rice, some mixed vegetables, and some Vienna sausage. In my first year of college, never had any real money. And so our bookstore slash snack shop would sell a bowl of rice and Vienna sausage for a dollar and so this is a very nostalgic meal for me. I do have some ketchup from home, some Tabasco because you definitely need that for the Vienna sausage, some strawberries I cut up last night, breakfast I had coffee. Oh and Aloha Shoyu is not my favorite but again very nostalgic when it comes to this meal. That's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, March 16th. Uh, it's a bit of a production, but it's a hamburger with barbecue sauce and onions. I've got a hamburger bun here and some French fried onions, and that's all gonna go together. I've got a strawberry chobani, and I like crunchy granola in it, and this is just the easiest thing to get. So I've got that Nature Valley Crunchy Bar. I've got an apple for later, and breakfast was coffee. And that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Thursday, oh, March 17th, happy St. Patrick's Day, is some Kahlua pork and cabbage and some shumai or pork hash, I don't know how you guys know it, and some rice. I've got ketchup on the side and I'll probably get some Tabasco as well. Breakfast was coffee and I think that was it. Yeah, just coffee. <laughs> That's it for me today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today. Friday, March 18th is a small side salad with a Chinese chicken Asian dressing and a tuna salad sandwich. My favorite tuna salad sandwich and it's just from 7-Eleven. Uh, breakfast, I had coffee and a cookie. Uh, I had to go to a, a Zoom meeting uh, unexpectedly. So yeah actually had a couple cups of coffee because it was that kind of meeting. Any hoodles, uh, that's it for me for this week. I hope you have or had a great weekend. Bye.